All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wabrakakodash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. And floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. What is this water referencing? This water is referencing the word. And we know that when we go to the book of Ephesians. Now I'll jump back to this here in a second. Let's touch on the book of Ephesians. Chapter 5, I'm going to read 24 through 26. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Mashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Mashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So we are being washed by the word now i just read how the lord is pouring water upon thy seed thy seed being the seed of israel all those who come out of the loins of abraham isaac jacob the 12 patriarchs also known as the 12 sons that came out of jacob aka israel the negro latino and native american according to their father's genetic line goes back to them you are the seed that this water or this word is being poured upon. So read in Ephesians 5 and 26 again. That he might sanctify. When you go into that word sanctify in Greek 37, the word here is hagid adzo. To render or acknowledge or to be venerable or hollow. To separate from profane things and dedicate to the power. Consecrate things to the power. Dedicate people to the power. To purify, to cleanse externally. To purify by expiation. Free from the guilt of sin. To purify eternally by the renewing of the soul. So what purifies us internally by the renewing of the soul? This word. This isn't a physical sanctification as if you're getting in the water about to take a shower or about to take a bath this is spiritually speaking so the water that's being poured upon us is this word that's why this word is constantly going out the lord is pouring this word out using his men upon the seed of israel so ephesians 5 and 26 and he that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So the water synonymously represents the word. So going back to Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. For I will pour water, speaking of the words found within the Bible, upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. So this word is being given out. It's being poured upon our people like water. And then seeing that it's for the nation of Israel, for the elect of those people, this word is going to be profitable because just like a seed needs water to grow, this word allows us to grow. Verse 4, 
and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and sure name himself by the name of Israel. See, that's why we're calling ourselves Israelites now. That's why you see the prophets on the streets teaching. That's why we're following our ancient customs again, because the Lord has poured upon his people, the seed of Israel, this water, a.k.a. the word. And it's allowing us to grow. We went from being lost in darkness, not knowing this truth, to being in this marvelous light. Now we know who we are again because we fell away from our identity. Okay, back in the world, we weren't fruitful. Back in the world, we weren't um, teaching and preaching and, you know, giving out this water, pouring out this water upon our people. We weren't doing that. We were lost. We were like everyone else in this society right now who are bugged out, who fights against this word who acts demonic towards us, adversarial towards us, okay? Thanks to us receiving this word or receiving this water, seeing that we are of the seed of Jacob, look how much we've grown since we were um, lost in darkness. And just like a seed, when a seed is planted, it's planted in the soil, which means what? It's in a dark place. But once that seed starts to grow, and it pushes through that soil, it's able to be illuminated by the sun. It's able to receive light. And that's what we are um, experiencing right now. We're receiving the light, which is also the word, because the water, which is also the word, has been poured upon us. And we've grown from so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to being the Israelites in whom we were in the first place. Okay. Let's go to Second Ezra, chapter eight, and verse six. O Lord, if thou suffer not thy servant, that we may pray before thee, and thou give us seed unto our heart, and culture to our understanding that there may come fruit of it. How shall each man live that is corrupt who beareth the place of a man? So the Lord is giving seed to our heart. And that seed that he's uh, given to our heart, he's pouring water upon it. He's cultivating us. He's performing husbandry. So once the elect sprouts up, then all prophecies will become fulfilled okay and that's what we're experiencing right now we're at the point where almost all the elect is sealed that's why prophecies are intensifying as clear as day it's easy to see okay so the lord is pouring that water upon us because we are that seed that is being cultivated until it becomes you know this this tall big huge uh green tree that's exalted above other trees okay O lord if thou suffer not thy servant that we may pray before thee and thou give us seed unto our heart and culture to our understanding so the lord has given us culture to our understanding that there be that there may come fruit of it so the lord is cultivating us we're growing and we're bearing fruit how shall each man live that is corrupt who beareth the place of man now a lot of people they don't understand that when we do these works when we go and hit the highways and byways we're actually performing the work of husbandry we're cultivating our people spiritually the word has uh, come into us and we're spreading it upon our people as well. The Lord is watering his people. 
Let's go to Hosea chapter 6 and verse 3. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. And guess what? Now we're at that point where Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, through his hard work, through his hard labor, through his husbandry, his uh, seed, his seeds that he once watered are now becoming fully grown, up in age, ripened, and ready. Ready for what? Ready for that great day of deliverance, man. Okay? So the Lord is coming to us like water. Okay? This word is like water coming down from the heavens. Although we're reading it out of a book, these words come from the heavens. Okay? Then shall we know if we follow on to know. The Lord is going forth is prepared as the morning. And he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. Let's close it with this here. Ephesians chapter 5 and 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So the unfruitful works of darkness, once the water is poured upon them, okay, if they're not of the elect, they're going to remain in darkness. This word is not going to profit them. So they're not going to bear any fruit. They're going to be unfruitful. Us who are growing thereby, us who are growing by the word, through the Lord's hard work, through his husbandry, we are bearing fruit. But that comes from being children of the light, not children of the darkness. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them. And that's what the Lord has set us up to do. He poured that word upon us. We're growing thereby. We're growing and growing and growing. And then on top of that, we're reproving others who are still in darkness, who are still just a seed, either waiting to grow or they'll just never grow. Because we all started off in darkness. We all started off as that seed that was tucked in the soil. Some of us have grown, others, they're just that seed just sitting in darkness. And I'm speaking to you Israelites. So the Lord, through his labor, through his husbandry, he's pouring water upon his people. And once his garden, his spiritual garden, is where he wants it to be, hey, he's going to come and rescue his people. Okay, so I'm going to go out ahead and close it here and give... All thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash, Shalom.